Greetings. Today's project is how to remove a disgusting tub drain. Just look at this. It's horrendous. Now you might think this is a permanent part of the tub, which it is not. It can be removed or extracted. I'm going to show you how to do that. One thing to take note of is that you should never pour Drano or any other type of caustic chemical on top of your drain here. This is chrome plated. Drano or likewise is a very caustic chemical. It will chew up the surface and cause it to get all pitted, all roughed up, and ultimately look like this. So here are the tools of the project. We have got a replacement drain. You want to make sure you get the dimensions here. This drain is an inch and a half. This is a simple pop-up drain. You depress it, it seals, depress it again, it's spring loaded and pops up. Very simple, you can operate it with a tow. Here you've got a tub drain extractor tool. There are several different tools that can be used, or you can cheap out and try to use a uh, set of pliers and try to unscrew and extract your existing drain. This one is knurled. It's supposed to bite into the existing drain and it can be operated with a quarter or a half drive ratchet. Here's what we have here. Ideally, if you have an extension, it will help. Otherwise, it's gonna be pretty close in when you perform the removal. And a hammer. Uh, I don't have any of my hammers at home today. I've got this rubber mallet. Sure, it should pack enough of a wallop to seat the drain extractor in the drain and allow me to proceed with the project. I'm going to go ahead and get these unpackaged here. All right, here we have our drain extractor, half inch drive ratchet. Fits right in there. And then you're going to go ahead and want to counterclockwise it. So you'll notice as you, and I'm simulating the counterclockwise turn, once it's in the drain, the way these ridges are, they're going to bite down into the drain and help extract it and unscrew it, turning it counter counterclockwise. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and place the drain extractor in the tub drain, center it, and give it a couple of hits with the mallet here. All right, make sure it's seated in there to give it an opportunity to bite into the drain that we're removing. I'm going to go ahead and seat or insert the ratchet. I'm going to make sure I have it set to counterclockwise. And no, no dice. That thing is freaking attached. There we go. All right, this one, not particularly easy. And I'm having to apply some pressure in the center, but you can see it's finally relinquishing its grip from I'm sure years. And I'm keeping the downward pressure again so the, the knurls, the ridges of the extractor bite into the old drain.
All right. Just watch your tub. You don't want to you know, cause any damage to the finish with your tools. See the old uh, plumber's putty underneath it, all brittle. All right, well, a little bit. Uh, you had some hair in there too, but here you go. All right, this is a drain that we're getting rid of, okay? And we're gonna go ahead and put in the new one. Might wanna have some plumber's putty ready as well to seal up the opening and uh, make sure it's a tight, uh, watertight fit. All right, naturally, before you put the new drain in, you wanna get rid of the old, old plumber's putty surrounding the drain. This just creates a seal and a barrier and ensures that the water goes down the drain instead of around it. I'm going to use a rag to clean this up here. Just create a clean, dry surface for the new drain. New drain here comes with a gasket. Alright, simple as this here. This is the action. Just to dry fit it. Make sure that it threads in properly. You don't want to cross thread it. Just to make sure it all fits. But we're going to go ahead and get our plumber's putty. Alright, so here's the product that we need to go ahead and apply here. That's going to go right under the, here's the new drain, right under the flange here. Right around here. Not on the threads. We're not going to put any tape or anything on the threads. But we're just going to put a layer of plumber's putty right underneath the flange. This particular replacement drain also shipped with this uh, rubber gasket or bushing that can be used in lieu of the plumber's putty. But with that thick gasket underneath the flange, when this is screwed in, it's still going to be raised up. And I don't want to have that little surface or that area that might collect uh, standing water. With the plumber's putty, it's going to allow me to screw this new drain in all the way, compress the plumber's putty, and create a waterproof seal or barrier in between it and the surface of the tub. Plumber's putty is, is, is like a dough. It's kind of like a Play-Doh. All right, this one's been uh, sitting around for a little while here. It should, it'll still uh, perform the purpose here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, get a roll out and apply it, and I'll show you how I do that. All right, I'm going to roll it up and a few sections here. Just get a, a clump of this, roll it up here. Okay, thin it out a little bit. Kind of make it even. And we're going to set it right underneath the lip or the flange of that new drain. Now, you want to push it down a little bit because it is going to compress. And that's all you want. You don't want too much excess. And you're going to go ahead and discard the remainder or what's left over. All right, I want to make sure you got a even layer all the way around. And again, none on the threads. The idea is this is going to get depressed and pushed down and squished down when you tighten the new drain in and the threads, okay? Then we're going to go ahead and screw it in there. You want to make sure the threads are clean, threads are clear. Again, you're not applying any uh, Teflon tape or anything to the threads. And go ahead and set it in. And you want to make sure that you it gets threaded in properly, not cross-threaded. I've already dry fit it and made sure that it fits. And there's an actual tool that you can use to screw it in. The tool I used to remove it was only for removal. There is a separate tool that you can use for both removals and installs. But in this case, this drain was, uh, the old one was really it was uh, really lodged in there, so that's why I had to use a uh, 
pretty strong removal tool. All right, now I'm only going to be able to get so far here hand tightening, but you can see as I've done so, it's, it's fitting nicely in the little recess, there for the purpose. The plumber's putty is getting compressed and pushed up. I'm only going to be able to go so far by hand. And it's creating a good water barrier or a seal, a watertight seal. That's the objective. Now the drain basket here was simply unscrewed. This can be removed. It's a pop-up drain. All right, I'm going to need to get a tool here to go the rest of the way. Now here I'm going to go ahead and take a pair of needle nose pliers. You want to be careful. You don't want to scrape the uh, finish, the chrome finish any. But if I set it in there, you know, carefully, I can then use it to give me some leverage to twist and tighten the threads in a little bit more tightly. And again, as you twist and compress it, the plumber's putty is going to push up and that can all be removed, all that excess. Okay. All right. I'm going to go ahead and remove this excess here. And it's just like clay, silly putty, play-doh. can discard the excess. <clears throat> I wouldn't uh, let it go down the drain. We might want to tighten it down a little bit more. Again, you only need a fine layer of that. You wouldn't have been able to get the drain so flush here if we used that thicker rubber gasket that came with it. You can use a rag to wipe it out. And you might want to finish it off when it's nice and tight and make sure the little cross part in the drain is even parallel, you know, north, south, east, and west. So it doesn't look like it's off at an angle. Final quarter turn here. Okay, then if you're all good. You gotta take the little pop-up drain. It's got a little screwed uh, a base here, threaded. You go ahead and just uh, thread that in there. And again, push it to seal it. Push it to unseal it, and you're ready to go. You need to clean it out, remove any hair, anything else of that nature. Just unscrew it, clean it out, and you're good to go. So there you go. Pretty simple uh, project. Hope this was helpful. Get rid of some of those old disgusting drains that are all corroded. Thanks very much for watching. Hope that helped. Yeah, and we can probably throw this away too.